Bunny, I said I didn't have time to make their tails, so I owe you a poofy tail. It's a tailless bunny. <gasps> ah! What is this? Squishmallow. Oh. We're at Rugby Services. Where is it? Oh, there you are. We're at Rugby Services and we all agree it's the best services we've ever been it to. Is. The mirrors had oh. lights. The mirrors in the loose had colour changing lights. Mm. It's lovely. Lilia even just said, I want to come back. I do. <laughs> we could spend our holiday here. So we've stopped at Rugby Services after we've been travelling for about two hours up the very boring M1 because we are going on our holidays on vacances, on vacation, don't know any other words for it, to Lancashire. Get in the car and talk to you. We're in the car, we've got some grapes. And we are now going to go and stop for lunch. So this is quite nice because it's only a four and a half hour journey from our house in Kent to where we're staying near Longrid Longridge in Lancashire. Lancashire. Um, so we've got loads of time to do the journey. We don't feel stressed. We know we don't have a all day journey in front of us. Um, we've nearly done half of it already. We can't get into the Airbnb we have booked until four so we are going to do you want to say because it was your idea we're going to the we're going to stop for lunch at the national memorial arboretum why well it's part of the organization that i work for it's a center for uh remembrance for the armed forces and it's supposed to be beautiful it's supposed well. to be nice and there's a restaurant there so we would normally get a picnic but we've decided to be a bit leery we're going to be quick and I don't want to be like, I don't know, fannying around. And we're supposed to be mm, going fanny. on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> going on holiday. Okay. I have to stop talking because I'm not allowed to be fannying around, All apparently. Right. Well, let's go then. <laughs> That's going to mean something in another country. It does. It? It does. Well, in America, fanny is bottom and it's no. bottoming around. But. Is it? It's, the, it's I don't think it not is the, bottom. It's not the bottom in the UK, is it? No. Well, let's stop talking. <laughs> This is pretty amazing. It's also really hot. It's about 32 degrees. I'm missing the air conditioning in the car. So we've had a lovely lunch and now we're just having a little wander before we get back on the road. Look at my awesome socks. There's loads. <laughs> Phoebe's got, uh, what's on your socks? Um, koalas. Koalas which are doing the lotus pose and meditating with my Everlast sliders because why not? <laughs> And we can hear music in the background, so we think there's some kind of concert going on. Hello, Hello Jackson. Jackson. 
Hi. Hello. You're Hi. waving. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little boy called Jackson. Always waves at the girls and wonders why he's not why, why they're not waving back. Hello, Jackson. Jackson. Hello. Keep waving, boys. <laughs> So we've just been looking at the maps and we've worked out that the festival we can hear in the background Bloodstock. is Bloodstock. Fuck! You really shouldn't do that. No, I don't know if not. I did it right. Was, is it that? Or is it that? Yeah, but even if you do that, it looks yeah. wrong. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't, dude. But this is an amazing place. I'm really glad we stopped here. It's incredible, like the amount of space that they're filled with names and the amount of space they've got still left to fill with names and they do it every year. Sadly, one day all the outside walls might be filled. Yeah, at the moment the outside walls are blank, but they get filled up every year. And there's memorials all around to different regiments and there's loads of people here, you know, older, the older generation are here, aren't they? Yeah. In their what do you call it in their regimental regiments or dress? I don't know what regimental I'm jackets and things. Yeah, so it's a really interesting place. Yeah. It sounded like there was a group from Scotland um, down today as well. Oh. I heard a few Scottish voices. We were just telling the girls all about our our granddads because my granddad fought in the Second World War in various places, but mainly I think Egypt, and he was in Blackwatch, and his job was all the Scottish regiments had a piper. Well, from what my mum says. And my granddad was the piper's guard. My granddad was also in Egypt in the Second World War in the tank division. They may have met. That's weird, isn't it? Hmm. Granddad it's Gordon. Yeah. Oh, oh. There's... Not a bad view for the week, is it? Where's the hot tub? Look, there's our neighbours. Sheep. Look at that. We haven't seen green grass in a while. Green grass. Amazing. Everything's green. Mum, watch my round off. Right, I'm going to give you a tour before they wreck it with all their mess. So this is the outside. I'll tell you the name of it in a minute because I can't remember. So we come in the door. There's a little back door and big area there. Got a nice long corridor. And we come round here. Oh, there's Phoebe going into her, her and Lilia. Her, Lilia and they're like their room. Oh. And Lydia. Mind. <laughs> so this is where Dan and I will be sleeping. It's a massive bed. Bit of a worry because I always bring my own sheets. Let's have a look at that. Inspect the sheets. Passable. I'm very fussy. Let's do this. Let's do the all-important sheet inspection, Dan. 
Mm. 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 It's a sheet. I will, I will have further inspection later, but so far, so good. I'm extraordinarily fussy about sheets, so if it passed the sheets test, we're on to a winner. We were all loving the lights. These are amazing. Want these in our house. Loving the chunky furniture. What a mess already. That crate didn't survive the journey. Lovely chunky wardrobes. Plenty of room for a week. Oh, shame about the view though, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that amazing? In the morning, we'll be able to just open up the... No, I won't. Open up the window. And that's what we'll be looking at. That's where we can sit. And that's the hot tub. Very exciting. Over the fence there is the owner's house. Oh, got a teddy. Pictures of cows. Perfect. And just so we can keep a very close eye on them, they're right next door to us. Same lovely chunky furniture. And this is the girls' room. And they've it's my got bed. cows as well. Oh, is, have you chosen your beds already? Loving this. <laughs> that is just the cupboard with the hoover. This is the amazing bathroom modelled by Dan. And everyone knows you keep your presenti in the bathroom, obviously. Loving this floor, loving everything, loving this. Actually, really loving that. We need to replace our one at home. Might find out where they got theirs from. Beautiful bath. I'm definitely going to have at least one bath whilst we're here because I love a bath. And a nice view out of the window there. I can't reach over. Toilet. Ginormous shower. Continuing the tour. Lovely view out the front as well. The road is out there, but it's not a busy road and we can't really hear it. And look at that grass, it's green. Loving this. Cow doorstop. And this is the main living area. It's so gorgeous. I mean, it looked gorgeous in the pictures, but as Ever with Airbnbs, it looks bigger. Now we're here, we've got a Bluetooth speaker. Oh, another fabulous light. Love these old leather, look at, not old, but you know what I mean, beaten leather sofa look. Got a log burner, which we're definitely gonna, not gonna need. It's 31 degrees. Loving this, really lovely modern kitchen. Love those lights. Girls are really excited because it's a breakfast bar. That's what they want in our house. This is so I can summon people for dinner, or maybe I can hit it when my wine needs filling. Uh, right in the distance, you can see sheep and cows. Another cow up there. Dishwasher. Oven, hob, fridge. Loving it. That's it. Small and perfectly formed and the perfect home for the week. So exciting. Phoebe and I are going to go and say hello to the sheep. Such they're... Grandma, Phoebe and I. Yes, because they're coming closer.
so I'm sitting outside and I'm going to do something that I always do on holiday and that is do my holiday diary but I need to decide what I'm going to do <laughs> that squeak was Lilia flopping behind me my back is so sore <laughs> now they're both behind me doing yoga so what I used to do was my holiday notes I have done this since 2015 it started off as a way of keeping track of our spending and then it evolved into drawing tiny little doodles of what we spent our money on and then it was a diary with doodles and then by 2019 it had kind of evolved into a diary no longer a record of expenditure and more sort of realistic drawings Actually, this is 2018 when we went to Denmark. So, even though they're still doodles, they started to represent more of what was happening. Uh, oh. <laughs> um, and I started to pay more attention to what I was drawing and perspective and shadows and so on and I always did that with um, just ink pens and my polychromos colour pencils and then in 2020 when we went to France as well as keeping that little notebook I switched to keeping well not a diary but I sketched a lot of our holidays so this is the pool where we stayed so did it, oh, so are you that was Phoebe this is the Fort National in San Marlo. <laughs> Phoebe's been journaling as well. This is one of the chickens. Oh my gosh. I, I would love to draw one of our chickens. Um, this is, uh, oh, this is really hard to get in the right. That's a, uh, a, a street in Dinar. Um, again, it's, it's a sketch of where we were staying. So is that. So is that. So I was documenting different parts of our summer in different ways and this became my kind of good sketchbook. And then because I got a bit precious about this, I've got another identical one, which is now almost finished because I didn't put any pressure on myself about it. And it literally is just where I practice my sketching. So you've seen a lot of the sketches in here if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time. Uh, some of them I'm pleased with, some of them I'm not so pleased with, but they all give me the memories of exactly what was happening at the time that I was doing it. And I've also got practicing little exercises to practice things like perspective and so on. So this is, oh, this is where we went in Scotland in 2020, last year actually. I need to send a copy of this to the woman that owns the house, I promise. It's just things like that and I stick things in. I've actually left a couple of pages blank by mistake because I, <laughs> I, I missed a page. I drew my new paints. And this is just things that have been happening over the past uh, couple That's of days. That's me. That's you. That was my practicing being a quick sketcher. And now I've only got two pages left. Well, four if you count the two I missed. So I've also got this tiny little book. <laughs> goes on and on. Um, I've only got a couple of doodles in here. I did a little doodle from a day out and so on. So I don't know whether to switch to my mini book or if it's too mini or switch back to what I originally called my good book and just use this as my holiday sketchbook or stick with the old favourite. Phoebe's brought hers. So she in their travel bags, they both got a little cheap sketchbook and some stickers and some acrylic um, paint pens and so on and Phoebe has been brilliant she has been keeping a record of our day so far oh you finished it because I know that we're going to go in the hot tub we are and I know that we're going to stargaze and watch out for meteors and I know we're probably going to do something after that I've turned the camera around so you can see the, the nice view rather than just the house behind us and as you can see it's beautiful we're completely in I'm the shade inside, we were out in the garden till quite late last night watching the Perseids Meteor shower. Oh, is that how you say it? I'm not sure. The meteor shower that's every August. <laughs> um, and we saw a couple, but it was a very bright moonlit night, so it was a bit difficult. So it's still passing by, so we're actually going to lie out here tonight where it's a bit darker and there's not so much um, light pollution. 
and we've got it all set out here we've got all towels laid out but we're also going to have a hot tub because we're very lucky we've got a hot tub here so we're going to lie out and do some stargazing we're going to have a hot tub and I might get round to doing some sketching and we'll see you tomorrow for the first proper day in Lancashire we're here for a week and it smells amazing it smells of sheep it smells of poo it smells of sheep it, it smells, smells of, of future yarn that's what mum got sheep Are you gonna cut that out? I bet you are, don't you? Future mummy, I love you. Do not cut this out.